Our next guests have starred in some of the biggest Aussie musicals ever staged. With more than 50 years treading the boards, Nancy Hayes is a true icon of the theatre, with credits including Chicago, Beauty and the Beast, and as Miss Hannigan in Annie. Yeah. Meanwhile, Elise McCann has been making her mark on stage, winning a Helpman Award as Matilda's Miss Honey and on screen as Peter Allen's sister in the acclaimed miniseries. I want to do one more Sydney show. Pete, you can't. You're crazy. Mum, can you talk some sense into him, please? Now the pair is set to tread the boards in the classic musical Brigadoon in roles that will see them transported to Scotland in the 1700s. Nancy Hayes and Elise McCann have taken a break from rehearsals to join us now live from Melbourne. Elise, uh, we'll start with you. For those who don't know the story of Brigadoon, yes. tell us what it's about. Well, uh, it's actually about these two gentlemen, Tommy and Jeff, who are from New York and they are set today in 2017 and they are travelling through the Scottish Highlands and they get lost and they stumble across a little town called Brigadoon which is set in 1717 because this town of Brigadoon has this miracle put on it where when everyone goes to sleep at night when they wake up the next day it's a hundred years later so for these people it's only 1717 and um, what happens is Tommy falls in love with one of the girls in the in the village and it's it's a story about love and about hope and community and it's it's really it's really great. Oh take me there right <laughs> now. <Yeah. laughs> Nancy you play the matriarch of the Scottish village. What do you, you get to boss everyone around? What tell us what you do? No, I don't really boss everyone around. I tell <laughs> I when uh, Fiona wants the boys to understand the story of what happened with Brigadoon, they bring her to see Mrs. Forsyth and I'm Mrs. Forsyth and I tell them about what uh, my husband Mr. Forsyth, the minister, did uh, to uh, take them away from the evils of what was going to come their way in 1717 and to, to, to go to sleep, the village, to go to sleep for a hundred years and come back just for one day and in that way they would come back for only one day in a century and they wouldn't be touched by it. Oh, wonderful. Mm. At least it's quite a short rehearsal period. Do you feel oh, yes. more pressure or, or does it help you focus the mind? Um, you know, well, you do feel a sense of pressure just because you don't have any time to waste. So you have to use every second. If they're not doing your scene, then you go and practice rolling on the floor like you can see in front of you. Um, you, you have to kind of go and, and really utilise every moment. Um, and you do kind of need to have a familiarity with the material before you start. Um, but there is a beauty about knowing that you only have a short amount of time because you just play, you go big, you go bold, you just kind of get in there and do it. And uh, it's really fun. It looks really fun and I loved your Scottish accent, Nancy, that you just did. Amazing. What's the secret to nailing that? Well, it's quite a study, actually. Yes. You have to you slightly roll your R's. Yes. You have to turn all your I's into E's. Yep. So my script looks like this amazing mess <laughs> of all the pencilling of what I'm supposed to say, like, <laughs> God is good and all of those things and we've all got that oh, and we yeah. had a wonderful uh, teacher coach. Yeah, he's and wonderful. he he just kept making little notes every time he listened to us sit in the rehearsal room so can we, we also that? have to make sure that people can understand what we're saying <laughs> yeah. yeah so we our, our Scottish accent that we're kind of focusing on is is kind of um, general. It's it's a general sense because it's got to be something. One, we all have to be from the same place, the one same part of Scotland. But two, we can't go fully Scottish because then the audience wouldn't understand a word we're saying. Can you guys <laughs> give us a couple of lines each? It yeah. sounds really good. Give us a few. Oof. Um, what I uh, I have to say? Well, I say. Um, what do I say? No, I can't think of a single one of my lines. I um, have a moment where I have to uh, say hello to Fiona. I'm like, good morning, Fiona. And then, um, and I don't even know. What do you say, Ness? I say um, about the witches. The witches. The witches that are coming, I That's say. Late. I didn't suppose you have such people in your world. <laughs> witches or waitresses, yes. Well, so it's a hard one. You have to say world. 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 You roll your eye just in the middle. So we're continually 
rehearsing these uh, tricks of the tongue. I keep accidentally saying about, I keep saying a boot, and it's supposed to be a boat. And so it's like these tiny differences and it's, uh, it, it's quite a lot to get your head around. Good yeah. stuff. Ladies, we have to ask you about some of your famous former co-stars and colleagues. Elise, uh, last time you were here you described Tim Minchin as a crazy genius. <laughs> have you caught up with him since leaving Matilda? I have actually. I Just prior to doing coming back and doing rehearsals here for Brigadoon, I was in the States and um, I got to catch up with Tim in LA and then we were in New York at the same time so I actually got to go see Groundhog Day um, which is his new show just before um, while it was on Broadway and, and we kind of got to catch up there as well so we've actually spent uh, a bunch of time together recently it's that, been very awesome that new show looks fantastic Nancy oh, we amazing. had uh, Todd McKenney on the show last week we know you've worked together a lot and there's a new project in the works with you guys we do and we're going to announce it all um, in a few weeks time but I'm thrilled to be working with him. We've always had a great time together. And last time we were on the show with you, we were doing six dance lessons. Yes. So, uh, yes, we're still working on six dance lessons. We're hoping to get on to the seventh. <laughs> <laughs> well, come back and, uh, and see us when you've got your new project with Todd. Ladies, it was terrific to have you on. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much, guys. Bye-bye. You can see catch you Nancy Hayes and Elise McCann in Brigadoon. It opens in Melbourne later this week.